Your spirituality must be converted to something physical for it to be beneficial. Only when God himself, even God, because this is his order. He is the one who created things to be like this. And he will not violate his own rules and principles. So, you guys who are children, who are my countrymen, you are coming from Africa or from Nigeria, and we have so many churches in Nigeria, Pasquamita or Jamaica, that's the most churches, Pasquamita in the world, and in Nigeria, you have all these churches, it will not benefit anybody, anything, unless we learn conversion. Our spirituality will just be making our economy grow worse. Our spirituality, our hope, hyper spirituality will only be making our country the worst country in the world. And we'll just be saying what about it will make our politicians the worst politicians in the world. It will just be making our country the worst out of the worst in everything. We will not be competitive, we will not be good, we will not be, because we are not converting our spiritual experiences into tangible physical manifestation. We are not doing anything, we don't understand God. We we don't know that spirituality is for the purpose of conversion. We are not producing goods. We are not producing services. We are not releasing people to go and explore the world, to go and explore, you know, science, to go and explore yeah, everything and to begin to, be, to become productive. We have become like the Middle Age churches. I mean, middle, uh, dark age churches that are just, you know, talking about spiritual, 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 and we are making the world, we are becoming irrelevant to the world, and we are making the world become not like the kingdom of God. God, not like heaven, but like hell. We are, we are the ones making our country to become hell. We are the ones because we are refusing to bring the kingdom of God. We are not making the country to, be, to reflect heaven. Thy kingdom God come. That's what Jesus said. Thy kingdom come. We should bring his kingdom here to the earth. We should make sure that our country becomes like his kingdom. We should make sure that his, his, our country reflect his kingdom. We should make sure that we bring heaven on earth. We make sure that our earth reflects Flex heaven. We should make sure that where we live is like heaven on earth. If we are not doing that, we are bringing hell. We are the ones responsible. We are the ones to blame for our countries turning to hell. We are the ones blaming to blame for the armed robbers, for the thieves, and for the you no know, kidnappers, for all the you know, militants, everything. Because we are not going to take responsibility to convert our spirituality to bring heaven to those places where the militants are, where the Muslims are, where the you know the the kidnappers are and everything. We are not converting the earth to heaven. And as long as we are not doing that, as as long as we are running away from the world, as long as we are running away from the church, I mean from the darkness, as long as we are running away into lock ourselves in our churches, hell will begin to prosper. Hell will begin to grow. Hell will begin to increase. And heaven will be far and far, far away. And we will only taste heaven when we die. But God wants us to stay, taste heaven here. That's why he said thy kingdom come here on earth, here. Not when we die, here. Before we die, we must taste heaven now. And that's what we are supposed to be working for. That's why we pray. That's why we look for spirituality. So that we might understand how heaven looks like. What is obtainable in heaven. So that we might bring it here on earth.